This is an Airstream update video. Woo! Welcome. She doesn't look much different, but we've spent a few hundred hours in here. <laughs> well, Jamie has, I should say. So I'll let him explain to you all that he's done, but he's made it super secure, really watertight, and just really safe, got all the rust off. Um, but I'll let him explain that. So we still haven't named her yet. I'm still getting to know her. Um, but we're actually getting close to paint prep, and that will make a huge difference in how it feels and looks in here. Um, and then Jamie's gonna start building stuff out. So we're getting close to it being like a lot of progress, but right now everything has been just like behind the scenes, like electrical and plumbing and all that stuff that isn't that exciting, but makes a big difference. So Jamie and his awesome mom spent all day yesterday scraping all the old weather sealing off and putting this new weather sealing on um, so that when we shut it, it's really nice and airtight so water can't get in. The biggest thing we've done so far is replace the entire subfloor, sand the frame, and coat it with a special rust proof paint. Um, so now that we have that done, we can really work on building out the inside. The other big thing I've been doing is some plumbing. I've been putting in the wastewater tank and stuff like that, which is super boring. So that's why we haven't really done any <laughs> updates for you, but we have been working hard on this camper. So um, the water tank is gonna go here. Ooh, pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, told you it was boring. Um, if we go back here to the bathroom, so I put a new wastewater tank right down here. Um, so, that's why I have it taped off so that when we run our drains, we know exactly where the wastewater tank is. But um, that was kind of a big project. So, it took me about five days to do. So, so the shower is going to go right about here. What is difficult about airstreams is that they're curved, so nothing is square. So building all this out is going to take a lot longer than it normally would. First, we're going to just paint everything white. And then from there, we can build out the rest of our camper. Okay, so our goal is to get this camper out of Sarah's sister's barn by the end of the month. Um, but that doesn't mean finished at all. That just means making sure there's no more leaks and that everything is ready to be roadworthy and get to our house. So <laughs> it won't be undercover at our house. So that's why we did mm -hmm. the majority of all the waterproofing and things here, especially because yep. it's been winter. So it's been yep. cold. Having it at our house will make uh, working on it a lot easier and we'll be able to work a lot faster, I think, too. So yeah, um, I've yeah. been ordering um, some design pieces. I'm excited to show you guys. We've been ordering things like shower pans and toilets, um, lights. So we're starting to kind of get all that stuff in. And then after we paint it, we can start installing things and building stuff. So mm -hmm. we're getting to a point where it's about to get real exciting, I think. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> So today we're just going to be doing more paint prep and waterproofing of the camper. Um, it's really helpful to have Sarah here because we can work twice as fast. A lot of this stuff's pretty tedious. So I'm going to be taping off some windows, clean all the walls off um, so that they're nice and fresh for paint. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, some of that kind of boring stuff, but paint is next and we're super excited. Mm -hmm. This project has definitely had us questioning it if it was the right decision or not many times, mm -hmm. but I think that we, once it's all finished, we're gonna be really thankful that we have it. I think we're definitely gonna keep it at this point. We're really excited just to travel and make memories with our girls. Yeah, the big question is, is if we can get it up on the side of our house or not. We live on kind of a hill, so we don't wanna have to pay monthly to store it somewhere, so we're gonna to try to get it up in our side yard. Plus, if it's in our at our house, we can use it as like a guest house for people. We could use it as an office, mm -hmm. so Jamie can like get away and edit. We have maybe a way we have it figured out, so yeah. we're gonna try that. So we'll let yeah. you know how that goes. Yeah, we might have to cut our mailbox down and move it, but it might work. Whatever. I think it might work. We'll Who see. needs mail? Yeah. <laughs> So fixing up this Airstream has basically been one giant DIY project. <laughs> and what that means is a lot of online researching and learning new things uh, so that we can do this job correctly um, and how it's supposed to be done. So speaking of online learning, today's video sponsor is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes for creative people. We love Skillshare because not only can you learn a new skill, but you can also take classes to turn that skill into a business. Yeah, we're all about unique ways to make money outside of a nine to five on this channel. And so that will definitely help you attain that. So there's classes on photography, interior design. There's a really cool one I just found this morning. I'm excited to take. It's called Style Your 
Space Creative Tips and Techniques for Interior Design by Emily Henderson. So I'm excited to take this class and kind of learn a few things as I design the Airstream. I have a few things picked out, but I still need to kind of do all those finishing touches. So we have a link down in our description and the first 1000 people that click on it will get a free trial to Skillshare. And after the trial, it's less than $10 a month, which is totally worth it if you want to invest in yourself. So let's get to work. I hate taping. Hate it. So I actually finished painting the Airstream today and Sarah has not seen it yet. So we're going to go in and check it out and take the tape off the windows and see what it looks like. What do you think? It's so white! <laughs> I love it! It's, it's so a, clean! It's a blank slate. Yeah. It was a lot cleaner than it was. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get the tape off. Dude, look how gross that is. That's after I washed it too. I'd say that's a good change. Yeah, I love it. So a lot of this camper will stay white, but I'm also adding in like tons of color. So I'm excited about that. But the white is a nice fresh start. It feels very clean in here. We got rid of all like the mildew, the old smell of it. Like this thing is pretty much brand new. It's very fresh. Okay, so I'm gonna finish ripping off all this tape um, and then I'll show you some of my design choices. So we wanted to save anything that was silver like this. We want to save that classic, iconic silver for sure. Yeah, so this will have a trim on it too that's like that. So this is the old radio. We're going to have to do a little bit of touch up. It looks like the tape, the tape wasn't quite perfect down there. But I got to clean this up. But it's a pretty cool piece of history to keep with it. So I really wanted to keep this piece. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. Something that I found that I'm really excited about is this peel and stick tile. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with the quality of this stuff. It's kind of thick and has like a little beveled edge. Um, we'll see how sticky it is. We might have to use some glue. Um, but when you do a camper, you can't really add in a ton of weight. And so tile would be very heavy and also wouldn't move very well when, as the camper goes down the road. So this is what we're gonna go with for the kitchen backsplash. Um, and it was Jamie's idea to maybe start it down here and actually have it like go up the curve to the middle here, which I think is gonna be pretty cool, kind of like tunnel-y, but very colorful and fun. And then we're gonna be doing a floral wallpaper here, so definitely pretty wild, lots of color, lots of texture. We're gonna be doing a butcher block countertop that's gonna have a waterfall. Um, and then for our cabinets, we're gonna do a color on them, um, and then we're actually gonna do cane doors. So we're add, looking to add in that natural texture along with tons of color, tons of pattern, but yeah, just some organic features as well with that wood and some greenery and stuff like that. I have never done a project that's quite this wild and crazy as far as tons of pattern and color, but I think it's gonna turn out awesome. So this is one trick we've learned over the years from doing all of our house flips and rentals. Um, if you have something really old and yellow, there oftentimes will be stains that will bleed through paint. No matter how many coats you put on, it'll just keep bleeding through that color. Um, so what you have to do is use something called Kills, which is an oil-based primer. It's really nasty stuff, but it will cover absolutely anything. So that's what we had to do in this camper in order to get rid of that old yellow color. Um, you can see some of it left over on these windows that the trim that the uh, trim will end up covering, but that was the only way you could get rid of it. In some places, we had to do two coats of Kills. Um, so this camper really had a lot of staining and nasty stuff. So if you're ever looking to paint something that's really old or stained, Kills works great. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for further updates on our Airstream. Uh, we're hoping to have this thing in our yard next time you see it.